thinking of what makes sense, I want you to, if you could talk really, because you're the prototype, you know, you are the ambassador. You are someone who obviously really gets the need for health and wellness in the in the job. And I find it somewhat interesting and somewhat ironic that somebody who's not in the private sector, right, who's not in the big business arena, but still has the common sense to bring it to, um, uh, you know, the the social service uh, community, I think, speaks to you. And it's so oh, thanks. I appreciate it. It's so uh, courageous. So could you talk a little bit about the the program? The sure. The program yeah, we, at Babylon. In fact, we were talking about it uh, even before COVID, uh, with a couple of people who had some interest in the various. Uh, and then once COVID hit, uh, and we hired a company called Radish to help us track our employees. Uh, uh, health conditions to be able to provide for um, quick uh, COVID tests and and you know make us uh, make us functional, um, and then I we added you into the mix uh, about the mental health, which has been one of my big things to talk about since my own personal experiences and and other experiences I've had in the community, um, and we said why can't we you know Northwell. Um, does a health and wellness program. And some, some of these larger companies have incorporated it into, like you said, you mentioned in Google or you know, some of the well-known companies. But I said, what why are why should government employees or you know, public servant servants be treated any differently? They're people just like the people who work at Google. So we said, um, and we talked to you know, some of the employees, the unions were kind of, kind of thrown off because. Uh, we were actually offering this to our employees uh, free of charge. And we were also offering where we were taking two hours a week on town time, incorporated that in to what people can do in order to get them to want to do it. So Dr. Mike is providing great lectures and um, information sessions. I attended one of his and uh, I know he had one uh, a few days ago where people are are really talking about it. It was about uh, nutrition and mood or food and mood. And uh, they're, they're giving me very positive feedback about things that they learned there. And a lot of times it's simple things that you have probably heard when you were in seventh grade health class, but uh, in real life, you haven't adapted it to your real life. So we've got that in terms of, and we've got nutritionists that are available to consult with our individual employees on their own specific personal plans. Radish Health has continued where we've got Radish on board. They do annual physicals. I had a couple of guys in DPW come up to me, you know, so, uh, what is all that? They came back to me and said, I schedule my physical, you know, I got this, I got that. I'm going to get this checked out. You know, this is worth it, Schaefer. And, and, and they're like, you know, they were like, you know, resistant now. I'm not, there's nothing wrong with me. I, and probably they do the same thing to their wife when she says, go to the doctor and get a checkup. And so now we've made it easy where they can do it right there. Um, and they've got virtual doctor available. We then took the mental health aspect where we've utilized your team uh, in various situations, uh, department situations, individual uh, settings where people want a one-on-one -on -one discussion. And probably the best thing that we've done is we've getting everybody moving. Um, so we've got a strength and conditioning uh, aspect. Rob Labiento, who is our health and wellness director, uh, someone I've known for probably 15 years since he was a, a, a kid out of high school, um, pursues now pursues his dream of being a health and wellness uh, director where he's able to show people how to move, how to um, create strength um, through cardio and conditioning and um, core work. Uh, and we're talking about people who haven't moved in years, uh, whether because they sit behind a desk or they're behind a computer or they are moving in weird ways because they're out on a climbing up a pole to, you know, uh, check a street light or the they're doing all this. So he's got, and again, uh, they were making fun of me when I was going around department to department, um, explaining this whole program to them. And I had Rob, I had someone from Radish there. 
And I said, guys, you're going to, you know, and, and gals, you're going to love this. And they went, oh, now this is, come on, stop this. And now they're getting into it. And they're like, holy, I'm, I'm watching what I eat. Me and my co-workers, uh, the town clerk's office, Jerry Compatello, who's our town clerk, big proponent of this. She says, Rich, I've tracked our productivity. Um, our productivity has increased. I've been able to reduce my overtime. And the women, she's got mostly women. She's got a couple of guys in there. But she says the women have lost collectively 150 pounds since we started this in January. We're sharing recipes. We're doing this. So it's become, like you said, this mindset. Um, and even in DPW, they're all salty guys. Ah, uh, we're going to go to the yoga class next week. Uh, I said, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in yoga uh, attire. And, uh, uh, but they're saying, no, but it's teaching us how to move better. Our workers comp plan has, um, what is it called? Our rating has increased whereby we're do, we vent, we've uh, put this program in place. So we're less likely to have injuries because we're teaching our DPW, our landfill, our blue collar, you know, guys that are, you know, sometimes they're moving, you know, hundred pound things and they may wrench their back or something. So we're, we're doing all that. So the, the guy that handles our insurance said, this is wonderful because we've now been able to reduce some of your workers comp insurance costs because your rating is better because you're providing this program and you're letting them stretch and you're doing all this stuff. Um, uh, before they start working. Uh, so I know I went on a little too long there, but why I'm so excited about it is because we finally launched it this January. We were talking about it for a long time and I'm excited. We're almost at the six month point where we're going to sit down and kind of review where we're at to see where we need to make tweaks to respond to what people want to see as part of the program. But the best part is I had people come up to me and say, I went out and joined at my gym. I went out and I'm riding my bike with my son. I'm, I'm doing like this. They're like, you're seeing the change of the mindset. Is this 100% of our staff? No, but the first week it started with like 70 people participating. And now in some various capacity, we've got like 250 people participating. So it's, it's you know, becoming infectious in a good way of uh, of this program and the four pillars of our health and wellness program but rich it really started with you i mean what would you say to oh, oh somebody... yeah no i uh, what it started with me is look i've been i've been going to the gym for probably you know utilizing a, a trainer in like a semi-private group setting like three or four friends of mine probably over 10 to 15 years um, off and on, uh, I've had my own bouts with weight loss gain back and forth, uh, the mental health experience I had, it was almost like over the last 10 or 15 years, I've had all of the issues that now I would like to promote to help everyone figure out we've all got these issues and we joke about, you know, what, if we put on, look, I put on 20 pounds during COVID, I'm trying to get them off now because we weren't moving as regularly as we were. I was working out, Rob uh, is my trainer and I was working out on his driveway, but it isn't the same as working out in a gym where you had certain equipment and stuff to do and you know, weather played a factor in it. So, so we weren't as moving as much and also you know, stress eating took over. And uh, so you gotta get back on nutrition. Um, so yeah, it, it started with me because I kept promoting it, promoting, promoting, telling the town board we need to do it. Oh, our residents going to be upset that we're focusing on health and wellness. I said, well, anybody wants to argue with me that we're focusing on health and wellness of our employees, it's only going to make them deal with a better employee. The, the employee is going to be happier, functioning better. And Jerry Compatello said it to me best my productivity is up and I've been able to reduce my overtime expenses for the first six months of, uh, of 2022. And I said, Jerry, you sold me because, and she said the, the women are happier. They're like, yeah, we'll give up a couple of bucks for 
the fact that you've given us this roadmap for how to make ourselves healthier. So I, I'm, and I'm promoting it with, with other town supervisors. In fact, I spoke to um, Dan Leveler, who is the president of AME. Uh, they represent the, all of the county employees, non-law enforcement or college right. employees. And um, Dan loves it. They're self-insured. And I mentioned it to Noel DiGiralmo. He's the other co-chair of the employee uh, health uh, committee uh, for the county. And they love it. I'm going to do a present. We're going to do a presentation with them shortly uh, because I said there's nothing wrong with introducing it on a much larger scale, which would be the county employees. That's they've got, you know, probably close to 18,000 between the cops and the sheriff and all the regular employees and the college. Uh, and I've promoted it to my fellow town supervisors and they're kind of like, what are you doing over there? And, you know, they've heard little things here and there. So we're going to go out. I think we made a presentation to Brookhaven Town. Ed Romaine is very interested in it, Angie Carpenter. So we're going to start, again, promoting it because I, I think it will help the public by us having a better uh, and a healthier and, and more well employee uh, pro providing services and programs. Yeah, Rich. And, you know, you are really the role model of resiliency. And, you know, if it wasn't from your, for your leadership, and your ambassadorship uh, and your kind endorsement um, of this important uh, tending to our physical and mental health and, and the connectedness between all of it, um, it wouldn't be possible. So I, I wanna thank you. I wanna thank Dr. Mike um, for, and the Long Island Association for giving us the opportunity to present what we think um, you know, resiliency in the workplace should really look like and um, if any of you are interested as a member benefit for the Long Island Association, we would offer a discounted resiliency assessment uh, like the one I just went over and a recommended customized curriculum for your business. My email is below and so is my cell. Dr. Mike would be more than happy as well in joining me with the full um, assessment uh, from a complete eclectic biological and psychological assessment. So. I wanna thank you all for this time. And please remember that Mental Health Awareness Month, although it's a month, it should be a life. And I wish you nothing but the best and that you stay resilient. Rich, Dr. Mike, anything you'd like to add? Uh, no, and, and just, I, I, I'm more than happy to make myself available too. So if you have anybody, Rob or, or Dr. Mike, uh, uh, let me know. I'm happy to talk to them about our experiences at the town of Babylon. Thank you. Thank you very both good. very much and have Thank a great day. Thank you very much. Day.